Hey, it's your old pal Fernbark. I just got up here to Morning Wood, and when I tell you guys about the fact that we, I got really bad condensation, here's an example. This is inside my uh, Zeppelin hanger, and it's just a, a plastic tent, but uh, let me see if I can get in here on this. That water is just collected on the roof. It's all on the poles. It's just dripping everywhere in here. That was quite the shocker when I opened this up and uh, inside the whole thing, it looked like it had rained in there. And I know it's not rain because Dave and I were up here in pounding rain and it was perfectly dry. Also, it hasn't rained here in the last week. So what I got right here, are a couple of fun items that was sent to me by the Outdoor Tactical Channel. Thanks, Vasily. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably screwing it up, but I'll bring it in so you can see. We got some uh, Pacific Sari when you run it through the translator. That's this can right here. And then we have some seaweed. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these babies open. Hopefully not kill myself. Well, that's pretty uninteresting. Shit, I wish I'd have brought out a trash. Oh, I'm just gonna do the old switcheroo here. Oh, there's some tasty now, I have no idea if these are supposed to be eaten cold or hot. We're going to go ahead and try them cold and then decide if we need to heat them up. So I took a whiff of the uh, sari. It kind of has a, a nice tomato base smell to it. Kind of like a, a, tell me what you think that smells like. Almost like spaghetti sauce. That's what I thought. Yeah. It yeah, smells exactly like spaghetti sauce. Seasoned tomato sauce. Maybe you do need a plate. We're going to yeah, make let me, a mess. Let me grab a plate. Yeah, so there's actually some big chunks in there. I'm going to use uh, two forks yeah. here to help myself out. You got the skin on. I don't know what that's going to be like. That could be uh, not as much fun as I thought. They're pretty dense. Ooh. I wonder if those bones are going to be tough. Yeah, they be, should be okay. I would think they're okay. Probably like sardines. All right, so <laughs> the viewfinder on my face looks incredibly white, but what I did, let me angle the camera down here. I put a little extra sauce on top of this tortilla chip and this Pacific Sari. That's better with the tortilla. Mm -hmm. Dave wants hot sauce. You need some hot sauce? I can find some. No. I'm gonna go ahead and flip out some of this sea kale. It smelled fantastic right out of the can. Kinda looks like, uh, like green beans a little bit. Those French cut green beans. Dave doesn't turn his phone off during filming. I'm gonna get nice and close for you guys because you all want to see it up close. Well, that's pretty benign as well. It kind of reminds me of pickled cactus if you've ever had that. I was gonna say it tastes pickled. It's pretty nice. But it's mild. It's not like super vinegar. No, no. It's not super sweet. It's not like the seaweed salad you get at a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, you get like a hint of dill. I thought you said you turned that off. I thought I did. So if you've ever had a sweet pickle, <laughs> dude, <laughs> it tastes like that without the sourness of any of the uh, vinegar. I, there's a seasoning in here and I can't figure out what the heck it is. It's pretty good. I don't think it needs to be heated up at all. <laughs> Check it out. It's almost literally freezing. It's about 7.30 in the morning up here. Whew, burr. Well, it's that time of the day, I gotta make a tough decision. It's 33 degrees outside, I gotta drop a deuce, and the commode is in that shelter. Now, if you're thinking, that sure doesn't look like it's heated, it is not. Hey, Joe Pal from Bark, and today we're gonna try out this pasta with ham carbonara style. Preparation is pretty straightforward. Add 180 milliliters of hot water and let it sit for five minutes. Now this is really thoughtful. You got a tear notch at the top for adding your water. And then there's another one right down here that you can tear so it's easy to spoon it out of this bag without having to reach your hand deep inside. Here's a look at the inside. You can see little pieces of ham. Looking for a desiccant ba bag in here, but I don't see one. I'm gonna see if I can't get this Voyager package open at the second tear notch without too much incident here. We'll see. How good that work? Hey, not too bad. I haven't. There we are. Let's give this Hummer a taste test. Looks pretty good. 
Smells good. Yeah. It actually has very little smell at all. It's almost flavorless. This is actually a pretty bland dish. There's no ham flavor to it whatsoever. You can see it and you can chew it, but it's a, uh, it's pretty bland. I, you get just a little mild onion flavor and so a slight herb flavor to it, but really not much going on here. I think it's just leaves falling in the wind, but you, you hear stuff. It is jet black out here. I can't see anything about 10 feet outside of this light. Anyhow, going on with uh, my potpourri or mix mash of rations, I'm gonna try this salad oriental out of a French ration. Let's get her cracked open. That's what that looks like. Nothing like a cold dinner when it's 40 degrees outside. I'm too tired to heat up something hot. I've been working all day. Well, that looks pretty good. Get this off of here. Maybe. This actually smells just like beef stew. But packed in there pretty good. First, oh, I just got a eye full of smoke. Well, here we are. I got it mixed up a little bit. Uh, I got a couple of pieces of meat right here, although this doesn't look like beef. I, for some reason, I thought this was beef. It looks like chicken or maybe pork, I bet it's chicken. Anyhow, there's a crap load of beans in here, but it smells like beef stew, that's why I thought it was beef. It smells exactly like beef stew. Well, that was actually fantastic. I finished that whole thing and I cheated a little bit. I, I went ahead and put it on the heat. Once I heated it up, it was much better tasting. And I put a little bit of salt and pepper in there and it was fantastic. It was kind of like if you had beef stew with some cumin in it, so it kind of tasted like Mexican beef stew. And instead of beef, you had pork and a lot of beans. It was really very nice. <laughs>